Today we have to find the value of x from this equation. This is an important equation comprising of log and exponents as well. Let us try how to solve this one. From here I am writing it as x to the power x whole to the power 1 by x equal to 2 to the power 3x plus 192 whole to the power 1 by x. I am doing whole to the power 1 by x in both sides. Now obviously x and x gets nullified. So left side becomes x and right side becomes 2 to the power 3 plus 192 by x. The entire index is being divided by x. Now a to the power m plus n is a to the power m into a to the power n. I am I can write it as 2 to the power 3 into 2 to the power 192 by x. What is 2 to the power 3? 2 to the power 3 is 8. So x equal to 8 into 2 to the power 192 by x. Taking 8 in the left side I am getting x by 8 equal to 2 to the power 192 by x. Right? Now I can write it as the right side expression that is 2 to the power 192 by x. I am writing it as 2 to the power 8 by x whole to the power 24. This is the trick. Why I am writing this? Because 8 into 24 is 192. And in the denominator index, it is already x over there. Now, I am assuming x by 8 as a different variable y. So, this problem indeed becomes y equal to 2 to the power y whole to the power. Sorry, it becomes if x by 8 is y, then 8 by x is 1 by y. 2 to the power 1 by y whole to the power 24. Okay, now what is that? Then y equal to 2 to the power 24 by y. Taking log in both sides, I get that log y equal to log of 2 to the power 24 by y. Okay, now we know that log of a to the power b is b log a that means log of y equal to 24 by y log 2 right taking log 2 in the left side then my expression is log y by log 2 is 24 by y what is log y by log 2 log y base 2. So my expression becomes log y base 2 equal to 24 by y. So obviously from here I can write y as 2 to the power 24 by y. What is y? y is x by 8. Now if I do one thing y to the power 1 by y that is I am again doing indexing by 1 by y then it becomes 2 to the power 24 by y whole to the power y. Sorry I am doing here y to the power y. I am doing indexing with to the power y. So it becomes y to the power y is 2 to the power 24 because this y and this y gets nullified. So, 2 to the power 24, I can write it as 2 to the power 3 whole to the power 8 because 3 into 8 is 24. In turn, y to the power y becomes 2 to the power 3 is 8, 8 to the power 8, obviously y equal to 8. Now, what is my assumption for the variable y? y equal to x by 8, that is 8. So, x becomes 64. We get it through cross multiplication. That is the answer of this complex equation which comprises of logarithm and exponents as well. 
If you like this video, I would request everyone to view, watch and subscribe my channel and watch other videos as well. Thank you.